How's it going? Teed off with Kramer here, and we are getting things rolling as NFL season is still underway as it actually hasn't even stopped. Even though there's no game has been going, they have been going very strong on what news has been put out. We just had the NFL draft was no longer than a week ago, and things have been in the, in the forward progress of the NFL. Free agency was talked about. We've also had the draft, like I just mentioned. But now today, Andy Dalton is now a free agent, as the Bengals tweeted earlier today. We have released quarterback Andy Dalton, and Andy has not only been an outstanding player on the field, but a role model in the Cincinnati community for the last nine years. Thank you for everything, Andy. So, they got their quarterback, Joe Burrow. I honestly think they could have at least kept Andy Dalton for another two to three years. There's still a lot of great quarterbacks to come to the system, even if there is an NFL season that's supposed to come. But... Andy Dalton is now a free agent. I think he's going to be one of the hot quarterback free agents. Granted, last year he didn't really play to perfection, but then again, his offensive line was not the greatest. His wide receiving core were all hurt. I mean, Andy even got hurt at one point, and they benched him after that. They benched him on his birthday. That's how savage of the Cincinnati Bengals are. But they ended up getting their quarterback, Joe Burrow, in the draft, but Andy Dalton is now a free agent. So then, now you got to think – where can Andy Dalton go? And I can see at least four teams that Andy Dalton could possibly have a chance of, I guess, flourishing or even becoming a backup to because there's some teams that may not have that quarterback or their quarterback right now should be is a glorified backup that just happens to be starting. And one team that he could easily go to that they could fit in that system perfectly because, I mean, Bill Belichick kind of scouted them already through video camera. That's the Patriots. Yeah, Jarrett Sidham is apparently their QB number one, but he's easily number two that I think. he's. he's I think he's a glorified backup, kind of like how maybe Jacoby Brissett was. Now you got Jimmy Garoppolo at the 49ers. Backup quarterbacks from there kind of end up doing good in other teams. I mean, Ryan Mallett it really didn't do too much at all. Brian Horror came and gone, came and gone. Now he's their backup uh, to Stidham. But I think well, how about we get a – on a kind of a competition there, Jarrett Stidham, Brian Horner, Andy Dalton at the as the quarterbacks, and I nine times out of ten, I think Andy Dalton's gonna get it done. The red rifle, his arm strength is really good. If you haven't seen the video of him throwing in his backyard to his kids, that's something that is still there, still consistent with them. So the Patriots could be a number a, a number one team that could sign, I guess, Andy Dalton. Another, the other team out there, the Jacksonville Jaguars. They just traded Nick Foles. Well, they, they didn't just trade him. They Earlier, a few months ago, they traded uh, Nick Foles to Chicago, and I'm guessing they were trying to make Gardner Minshew the number one guy in, the, in Jacksonville. Is Minshew Mania a number one guy, though? It, granted, he won them some games, but I don't see him that caliber of quarterback of trying to do that in an, every single week. I want him to prove me wrong because I, I'm a Minshew mania, maniac type of person. I enjoyed him and all of his his stories, all the stuff that he did even this past offseason, like running out in an RV, traveling everywhere. But I would actually like to see maybe Andy Dalton there and turn some things around in Jacksonville. If, if Blake Bortles can win in Jacksonville, I'm pretty sure Gardner Minshew can win in Jacksonville. And I'm, I'm actually 100% sure Andy Dalton can win in Jacksonville. Plus, they uh, Gruden is there. Jay Gruden is in Jacksonville now, the, a person that has close ties and a, and a great way to, I guess, an offensive scheme that is familiar with Andy Dalton. So I guess he can slide into that fit real easily. Another team that's a little bit under the radar that could possibly, you know, take them is the Steelers. Pittsburgh Steelers, as they, this was a team that Big Ben last year is coming off an injury who did not play for 14 games of the season last year. And, yeah, Mason Rudolph was their really guy. Apparently is their backup number two. I don't know if I want Mason Rudolph. I'd rather have Duck Hodges as my backup. But if you're going to have a backup to Big Ben, have it Andy Dalton. And I know they've they, these two guys have gone back and forth through their time. They're going against each other. And – in the AFC, so it's you got to think maybe they can set their side, their differences aside, and they can just be one big quarterback. Because who knows? Is are we going to see a healthy Big Ben through the entire season? If that happens, that that's why you got Andy Dalton there. This is remember, this is a team that reportedly sent out to Jameis Winston a lucrative contract, but he ended up declining it for a one year, a one point one million dollar deal with the with the Saints. So if they were all in on trying to get Jameis Winston as their backup number two, why don't you just try to go all in for Andy Dalton as their backup number two? He can they could possibly he could possibly take a pay cut, try to prove it, kind of like a prove it deal to be the backup, and then somehow Big Ben gets hurt, and then boom, things work out in that way. So the last team 
that I think might have a great chance of getting Andy Dalton. And it is, it's a kind of a shocker team. And it's a team that, of course, wanted to get Tom Brady. Also, obviously did not get him. That's the 49ers. Jimmy Garoppolo had his first healthy season in San Francisco just this past season. Everyone wanted Brady and San Fran, and now there's a chance for a great backup for the Niners. So, maybe Jimmy Garoppolo isn't the guy that everyone expects him to be. They expect a, I I guess, a a well-talented young quarterback, which I think that's what he is. But if the everybody's saying, "Oh, Jimmy Garoppolo's not a thrower; he's just a handoff. He's a glorified uh, a, 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 a middleman between the center and the running back for the the 49ers system." Get Andy Dalton in there. So if you need an arm in there as well, you have Andy Dalton. I think Mullins is still back there as their backup quarterback. So there's still a chance of maybe Andy Dalton still back up somewhere. I just think Andy Dalton, if he does not either go to the Patriots or he doesn't go to the Jaguars. He's going to be a backup quarterback for any type of team in the NFL. So, if you're Andy Dalton, you got to, I mean, wait around for that right deal. If there isn't a deal, it's even going to be sent to you. So, I, I'm just going to look in the next three to four weeks, maybe into a month. I mean, he has time to sign a deal because there's nothing going to be happening here in the sports world at any time soon. Heck, who even knows if the NFL will even start on time? They may even be going late. I, I, I'm just saying, but... If you're Andy Dalton, I would try to chop that bit if the Patriots are deciding to, you know, hey, if you want to come here, here's this deal. I know it's not the way you're looking for because uh, this is probably how the conversation with Bill Belichick is going to go, yeah, we got, we got Jerry Stidham right now. Um, if we get you in here and yeah, you prove your, your worth. So, yeah, we don't want to trade for it. We're going to do whatever we can to um, be cheap and do everything like that. So, here's a, here's about $15 million, and you can come here and try to beat them out. So, there's still a chance that the Patriots – are going to end up being fine in all this without with losing Tom Brady, losing Gronkowski. Gronkowski wasn't even there the past two seasons, so they can easily get away with that. But uh, the Patriots are somehow going to find out a way to not spend the most money and still get the guy that they need at quarterback.